Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how to create a lead generation form using the Quiz and Master Survey plugin. Alright, so to create our lead generation form, I have created a dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create disposable WordPress websites to test your ideas and tools for free. And here, you can actually create a quick disposable WordPress website in no time. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so I have already installed the QSM plugin on my website. And to see how to install QSM plugins on your website, just click on the information card in the top right corner of this screen. Alright, so let's get started by creating an application form. Okay, so the first one, of course, let's hover over QSM and then click on quizzes and surveys. Or rather, quizzes or surveys. Okay, so, alright, okay, so once you click on create a quiz or survey, um, the first thing we see is to select a theme for a quiz. Alright, so QSM has a collection of stunning themes, but for now, let's go with the default theme and then click on next. And next, of course, now on quiz setting, we get an option for the initial setup of our form. Let's set a name for the form and select what kind of form we are using. As for the time limit, you can set a timer to your form. You could also select if you want logged in users to be able to fill in the form. Now comes the add-on section, where we get to see most used or popular add-ons for QSM. You could also add any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and or surveys. Currently, we don't need any add-ons, so let's click on Create Quiz. Okay, so here comes the Questions tab, wherein we can actually enter our questions for the lead generation form. Okay, so let's enter the questions for our form. Let's start with the first one to ask our users about the department they work for. After entering the question, on the right hand side you can choose the type of question and answer from the drop down. For this I am taking the multiple choice question here. And if you want to, you can actually mark the question as required, so this question can be skipped. And then click on save question after that. Now since our question is saved, let's click on create new question at the bottom of the questions tab. Okay, so after that, let's create the second question, asking our users to know how they heard about us. For this question, we will be selecting the drop down choice type of question. Once you've filled in the questions and the options, and then click on save question. Let's go for another question by clicking on create new question. Okay, so for this question is the third one. Let's create this as a short answer question so that our user can write the short answer with some details. Okay, so now all the questions are saved. Let's set up a contact field to collect the email address of the applicants. To do so, let's click on add new field and then let's select field type and label it as full name. Now let's add another contact field to take their email address. So to do so, let's select the field type as email and label it as email address. And then click on the save contact field. Okay, so now since our question for the form is set and the contact field is configured to collect the user details, let's preview our application form by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. So as you can see, we have created the lead generation form successfully, and it's working just fine. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. Stay tuned for new tutorials, and until next time, bye-bye, and stay safe.